I'm gonna show you how to make your home smart. All of the gadgets that work with the Amazon Echo and Alexa enabled products so you can control your TV with your voice for under 40 bucks. Make coffee using your voice. Control all of your lights, your thermostat, your doors, home security and convenience, plus a big giveaway coming right up. I know, that's a lot to get to. Hi, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. Welcome to my home. I find the biggest deals in the world by subscriber requests and I give all my favorite gadgets away. So many of you watching right now have homes that you wanna make more smart and I'm gonna show you how you can make any room smart for under 40 bucks for the most part. A few other contraptions are a little bit more expensive but I have found deals on everything located right under this video screen. Just expand the video description box and we will get there together. Just a word of caution for anyone watching right now, if you do have an Amazon Echo in your home that goes by the name Alexa, you may wanna mute it or I'm gonna drive you crazy over the course of the next few demonstrations, but they're important and I want you to see them. And if you do have something that goes by the name Alexa, you know what? Leave it on, it'll be a fun game. You can see which of your devices are programmed the same as me and we can feel closer together because I'm lonely. But here we go. I wanna begin right now with how I control the temperature of my home and how easily it was for me to set up. This is my Ecobee thermostat, and I have to apologize that this is in Celsius. I live in Toronto for most of my week. <laughs> the controls on here are great because they are touched, but you can also use your voice to control the thermostat, and you can also use Alexa. It's also a very smart thermostat. You get weather reports on it. It can sync your thermostat based on conditions. Also, you can set different modes to control. This is more eco-friendly and more eco-efficient than a lot of the other thermostats on the market because it adapts, it adjusts. It also has a sensor in a different part of your house. We have the sensor up here. The temperature right up here is a little bit warmer than what's downstairs. The sensor takes an average temperature between the two and adjusts, keeping your house a little bit more cooled or heated based on the temperature that's actually on the thermostat. It comes out of its panel very easily, very simple to install. Another reason I like this is compared to the Nest thermostats, this company just seems to have better customer service. I also like the fact that the prices start at about $170. This is the most simple thermostat I have ever used that's also very smart. And if you're wondering what is this box under the Ecobee, this is actually my home monitoring alarm system. I'll do a demo of this another day and also show you how I've hooked this up with surveillance cameras. A link to the Ecobee located right under this video screen, a couple of different models, but I do like that you can score one for under 170 bucks. I wanna now move to the door behind me and also show you how I can control the basement door from anywhere in the world. Why would you want a smart lock? Couple of things. I use mine to automate who comes in and out of my house because I use part of it as a business. But also, coming back late at night, you don't wanna fidget with a door lock, you wanna control it from your car. If there's an important delivery, an emergency, or someone needs to get into your home, that's a great reason. Another good reason, you never have to carry keys again. If your door gets locked and you don't have a key, you can open it. If there's a kid coming home early from school or a babysitter or someone that needs access, this is great. Also, in the event of a flood or an emergency, you could let someone into your home that needs to be there. You can program at least 60 codes that you can give out to different people so they can enter their codes, but more importantly, you can control the door from anywhere in the world. If my wife's coming home after her shift in the middle of the night, she can lock or unlock the door from a car. If you have someone that needs to get into your house very quickly, if there's a flood, an emergency responder, you can do this. And yes, you can yell at your Alexa to do it. But for me, it's the smartphone control, which is absolutely phenomenal. You can also see if your doors are locked or unlocked. How many times have you left your house and thought, honey, did we remember to lock the door? Well, I can see whether or not the door is locked on here and then obviously control my alarm as well. This is absolutely awesome. Controlling the lights around your home with your smartphone or your Echo or your voice is really easy. Wemo makes a lot of products and I used a couple for years but I had to constantly reset them. They weren't responsive half of the time. I got very frustrated. I did shift recently to TP-Link and their smart Wi-Fi controls just seem to work a little bit better. Easy to plug this into any outlet and then control that. Or if you see on the lamp behind me, if you wanna control an individual bulb, which is also an option, these are under 25 bucks. This bulb is smart, so you can control the bulb without having to plug a hub in or anything to an outlet. This communicates directly with your Amazon Echo, Alexa, and your voice. 
I find it absolutely awesome that you can control virtually any device in your home by just plugging in an outlet that's under 35 bucks, and I have a link to this located right under the video screen. This plugs in, and whatever you plug into here, you can control. The key to this is just naming the device whatever you want to call it when you talk to her. And this is an Echo Show, but you could use this with an Echo Dot, various other smart home devices. This plugs into any standard outlet. And then whatever you plug into here, you can then control without issue. So for example, this will be the coffee maker. You name this outlet coffee maker, and then you don't need to just be beside it. I can control it from bed. I can wake up and say, Alexa, turn my coffee maker on. Okay. And now you guys can hear the coffee makers on. I could have done this from anywhere in the world. Very convenient. Smart home control isn't just about convenience. For me, it's also about security. This faces an exterior window of my home. So I can, for security issues, if my wife comes in the back door, turn this on for her when I know her shift ends, or I can program it. But I can also randomly turn the lights on and off in this area, making it look like we're home or the house is occupied when we're not even here. And I can do that from anywhere in the world, or I can, of course, do that with my voice. Alexa, turn the couch light off. Alexa, turn the couch light on. Okay. And then if I'm sitting in a hotel somewhere and I'm thinking to myself, you know what, we've been away for a few days, I really wanna turn this light on, all I need to do is reach for the app and then the same control I have here without even using my voice. Even on bed lamp control, this is something where the Echo, which is right behind me, actually comes in very handy. Alexa, turn the bed lamps off. Okay. Perfect. Alexa, turn the bed lamps on. Okay. In addition to being able to set, Alexa, set an alarm for 4 a.m. tomorrow. Alarm set for 4 a.m. tomorrow. One of the conveniences of having both lights controlled simultaneously is in the event that I'm sleeping alone at an odd time, I don't need to reach over to both bed lamps. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I've knocked, these are glass lamps. I've knocked them over in the middle of the night trying to reach for that little piece that I need to turn. I've broken a lot of lamps in my day. This is just a way to avoid that, and it's really convenient. One of my favorite ways to automate your television, where if you wanna go completely remote control free is the Fire TV stick. All you have to do, sorry, she's gonna say hi. Hello. Hello, sorry, in the middle of the demonstration, she didn't know that, but this is great because this corresponds with your Echo for under 40 bucks. You plug this into the back of your television and then with a very quick, easy 10 to 15 second setup, you can control your entire television using your voice. This is the Fire TV stick with the Alexa voice remote for under 40 bucks, and I have a link to this located right under the video screen. This is HDMI plug and play at its finest. You get Dolby Audio, works with your Wi-Fi within your household. This is the voice remote, so you can speak directly into it or use the conventional controls. And this is the Fire TV stick. It's really, really small. Look at this, not much larger than my finger. It requires external power, so you could plug this into a USB port if you're fortunate enough to have one on the back of your TV. Most modern TVs do. If you don't, you can obviously plug this into a wall. It comes with an adapter. The Fire TV stick itself plugs into an available HDMI port. It's very small. Most modern television will have at least one to three of these. This just plugs right in. It comes paired with the remote, so there's very little you need to do. It's set up and working in seconds. Alexa, play the Grand Tour. Getting the Grand Tour from Fire TV. And as you can see, the Grand Tour immediately ready to play on my TV, all thanks to the power of my voice. One of my other favorite things about the Fire TV stick and Fire TV is that you get a voice remote. So in the event that you don't want to pair it with an Amazon Echo, you can just speak directly into the remote. It's actually very useful, and I want to show you what happens when I try and trip it up. I'm going to ask for a program by the wrong name. Play the man in the high tower. Here's the man in the high castle. So, sorry, I hit the remote, but you get the idea. It can even search other collections. So you could search through millions of titles using your voice. Let's try one of my wife's favorite shows. Play Fuller House. Here's Fuller House. And it pulls it directly from Netflix, which is impressive. And then one of the other things that I like, whether you're controlling it with an Echo or something else, is you can just, in a matter of moments, control music with your voice as well. Play music by Kenny Chesney. Shuffling songs by Kenny Chesney. And then, obviously, you would get the music. 
we don't have the rights to that, but there you go. You get the idea. So this is voice control at its finest. All of the links for all of the gadgets that I featured in the way to make your home more smart located right under this video screen, got the full list ready for you. And before today's big giveaway, I wanted to ask all the great people watching and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. What do you control in your home? Or if you don't have a smart home yet, what would you like to control? I'm sure there's something that I haven't done or shown you that you're already using. And I want to learn from you guys as well. So leave me a comment. I will read it. And now I'm going to give away your choice of any of the smart home extension gadgets that I featured. The next subscriber can have his or her choice of the Echo Dot, a Fire TV stick, the TP-Link, or the smart control for your plug, your choice. Using two buddies random selection tool to find a subscriber who's commented in the last six months, congratulations goes to, congratulations, Tommy Watkins. Yes, you awesome. Go, you, you're smart, so is your home, or if it isn't, it's going to be. Not you, I assumed you're always smart, but your home was referring to your home. All right, there we are. If you have just watched this video and you would like to see more videos like this, if you wanna save more money, if you wanna win great items, I've got iPhone giveaways, laptop giveaways, some really special segments all around the corner for Black Friday. Very easy process to get subscribed. Click on my head right here. That'll subscribe you to the channel and that'll make sure you get hooked up with content that can help you and hopefully make your life better if you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment. Demo right there. And more video ideas and ways to improve your life and save money right over here.